In this video, I'm gonna show you how I turn this video into this video, then into this video. Hey, hey, it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me. So today I'm gonna to teach an old matte painting style. Now this refers to a technique used in the early days of filmmaking where artists would create large painted backdrops for their film scenes. If you are exactly like me and a terrible artist, I'm gonna use AI to create the mat. First thing we need to do actually, we're gonna go into settings, go to preferences, and I'm gonna actually change one little setting so this will work even better. Let's go into the capture one here, snapshot format. It normally is by default at bitmap. I want you to change it to JPEG and you'll see why in a minute. Let's go out. Okay, so let's just, it doesn't matter where you take the snapshot of your video. So this is fine with me. If you're using the Corel 23, the snapshots here, if not, just go into edit and you can see snapshot there. Now I've already done that. So here is me or a picture of my little video still. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this video still or this picture and I'm gonna go into Adobe Firefly, which is 100% for free. Here we are in Adobe Firefly. Now, Adobe Firefly is 100% for free. What we're gonna do, we're gonna use this option here, generative fill. So let's go in here, click it once. We will upload the image that we took from Corel Video Studio, which is right here. I'm just gonna increase the circle a little bit more. And what I wanna do, I wanna remove this black border here. Let me just scroll up a bit this black border here now be careful because if your subject moves a lot you make sure that the mask doesn't interfere if he moves otherwise you're going to get that arm or head disappearing okay so we've got this here and what we're going to do is tell the the ai to create a window you can tell it to do anything but let's see what happens now once it's created that you can have options of which window you think would suit best with your project. If you don't like any of them, you can cancel it or you can tell the AI, generate four more. Okay, now I'm kind of leaning towards this and like I said, this is just a tutorial. So let's keep this option here and then let's work on this side. And for here, let's just take it out and see what it would come up with if we don't give it any suggestions or commands. So let's generate. All right, so it did a pretty decent job. It even left the, the border up the top. Let's get, we can literally remove that as well because I can't see the point of having that. So let's keep that. And then let's just completely remove that. And we could probably even remove some of those spots on the wall because it's reading off everything that's in your original uh, video or the picture. And you could see I had imperfections. So it's trying to imitate that as well. All right, so it's looking pretty clean. Now notice I've got a shadow here because in the original video when I made it, I actually had a lamp here and that cast the shadow. This is why I'm going for the window because again, it's casting the shadow. And now you can add any object in here. Let's say you want to add a picture frame or a, a book of a bookshelves. Let's see, I'll have a bit of a play and then we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, let's just keep this. Let's keep it very simple. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this. Now, when it saves you, it's gonna leave you a watermark here and I didn't put anything here for that very reason and I'll show you later on why. Next step, what we do is we go into Adobe Photoshop or anything similar like that because I need to remove this person, me, out of the actual picture. Now also, remember I said to you about the trademark, which is here. So I'm gonna also remove that. I'm just gonna use the clone tool I'm simply just gonna highlight, well, I'm gonna highlight an area and then I'm just gonna slowly get rid of that. I'm pretty sure most of you know how to use Photoshop by now. And there's also free versions on the internet available. So the next thing I wanna do, I want to use the rubber tool and I just want to remove the subject like so. That's all I wanna do. And then I'm gonna save this as a PNG file, save for web. PNG and then I'm going to bring it back into Crowd Video Studio. Let's bring back in the original video and let's bring in that matte painting. Let's fit it to project size right here. Good. And let's see what we created. And I'm pretty pleased with that. That's pretty convincing. Obviously the shadow here is not really moving. So what I did after this was I rendered it out, brought it back in, and then I did some color grading and that gave the illusion I was able to fix this unique shadow. And there you go. Now, if you want to see how I did the clay animation, stick around because I'll show you how I did that too. 
For the clay animation effect, I went to Project Runway. Over here it says Generate Videos, and one of this is Video to Video. And this is exactly what I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna click on here, and I'm gonna upload a very small segment of my video to where I was standing, like over here, and I'm gonna upload that, drag it in here. Now, I would recommend to keep this type of work very, very short. Now, if you do like to see how this could be applied to your work, I'm more than happy to create, more than happy to create a tutorial for that. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna pay, basically look at some presets, and then what I did, I went down to, I think it was called clay animation, right here, and I'm just gonna apply that effect to my video, I can look at the preview styles and will generate to you. So let's have a look what it comes up with. And then you pick the one that you're most comfortable with. All right, so here it is. And I believe I went for a style similar to this. And when you play it, you will actually see that it mimics your exact movement because all it is is you being animated. Now, once you're happy with that, you generate the video. It will take a few minutes to do that. It will send a message to your Google Drive or your Google Gmail, whatever it is, and then you're good to go. So let's go back to Corel Video Studio and look at the final results. So let's have a look at the before and after. So this is the original video. And then let's go over here and have a play on that. And you can see it's just basically me in a cartoon. So how cool is that? And your imagination can come up with so many different ways to use this effect in your videos. And like I said, if you're curious how you could use it, leave a comment down below and I will probably make a little tutorial showcasing how something like this could be used in your very next project. And as always, thanks for watching.